10.53 in the headlines once again with a sinkhole making a dent in the road. We reported two weeks ago the public forum held by TxDOT as they plan to physically move the road, asking for input specifically from drivers who frequent the road. Local 2's Don Log has been following this story and joins us live in the newsroom tonight with the latest on TxDOT's plan. Don? Stephanie, although it was quickly patched up, that initial site was really frightening. And local experts tell me things like this cannot be predicted. It has, there has to be just the right combination of, of uh, circumstances to cause something like that. It's unpredictable. Unpredictable, but proven possible on FM 1053 in Pecos County, when just over a week ago, a sinkhole opened up four feet into the ground. Environmental hydrologist Joseph Reed says there's not a sole reason this happens, and no telling if the severe weather of West Texas is partially to blame because it all happens underground. A case-by-case -case situation. If you've got a road that goes right over an active fault, uh, uh, there could be some movement. This road failure that was quickly filled, TxDOT says not the first one on this highway, which is why they've been monitoring it for years. And it's gotten to the point where we see it will eventually be a, a, a hazard for the road, and that's why we're taking the steps we're taking. The first of those steps, moving the road 21 feet east, a short-term solution the department says will buy them some time before permanently moving the road several miles west. <laughs> where they're confident this uncontrollable force of nature won't happen again. Well, we've done geologic surveys throughout the area to where we avoid uh, similar sags. Moving that road east is going to cost TxDOT about $450,000. That should be done by October, and the long-term fix will take about five years. Live in the newsroom, Don Log, Local 2 News.